Okay, this is our latest project. We've got this Adafruit soundboard here. Need to make a motion sensed sound thing for a display at my dad's work. So this has just arrived. I need to solder on the pin headers. So I've got it in the vise, and you might be able to see this camera would focus a couple of seconds. So I've got the soldering iron. Got that on. So I'm going to uh, solder these, then I'll take it out, do the other side, and then we can wire it up and do a test. So I'll get a time lapse go of me soldering this. And I'll bring it back in a minute. Right, okay, that is that sorted, so I've got the file on here, so I'm just going to uh, disconnect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this cable, which has power. Plug that in there. And I'm just going to take this other cable and connect it to the ground pin. And I'm also going to plug in an audio. Oh, hang on, the ground power. Just turn the power on. Right, so I'm just going to turn the sound up. So now, when I touch this onto one of the sound pins, it will play. So this is the default, what it comes with. Left, right. I don't know how well you heard that. I might turn it up a bit. Left, right. That's what it defaults to. It's just like a left, right stereo test. And then there's also this one, which I added. <laughs> so there you go. Just now I need to add some files onto it, the correct ones. And then we can build this into a box. Okay, so we've had some parts arrive now and we're ready to start making um, this project. So of course we've got the soundboard. Um um, and we've got this relay. So the reason we need this um, is because the motion sensor that we have to that's going to be used to trigger this because um, this is like an old security one um, when it's on it's off and when it's off it's on so we need the relay to invert the signal coming from the motion sensor going to the board otherwise it will be playing the sound whenever there isn't motion and we want to play sound when there is motion so um, that's what we're going to be doing with this so that's what we need the relay for got a couple of these connectors here, so if I just get one out. So they're just six pin connectors plus the grounded outer shield. Um, so this is going to go, so in the, I'm going to 3D print a box, so this will be going in the box and this will have a cable coming out going to the motion sensor. And I've got that cable here, it needs to be some special six core, because these use quite a lot of connections. So I've got some 6 core cable. I ordered um, 30 metres, but they sent me um, 100. I don't know if you can see it there. But I got 100 metres instead of the 30 that I ordered, so not complaining there. Probably going to butcher this speaker and mount that in the enclosure. Now it has got this headphone jack in it, and I was just going to leave this sort of separate and have it plugged in. But annoyingly, that headphone is not audio in. That's audio out. The audio in comes from the USB. For some reason, with like a stupid cable which I can't find. So I'm going to probably take this apart. I don't really care about it. It's an old cheap one. And then see if I can solder wires directly to the board. Right, okay, so that's this speaker taken apart. So you've got the circuit board here. It's a shame, because this is actually quite a good speaker, you know, it, metal housing, got SD card, USB reader, um, Bluetooth, but it's, it's horrible sound, I mean, as you'd expect, the amplifier's non-existent, the speaker looks okay, but I mean, realistically speaking, it's not very good. So they spent a lot of money on appearance and the fancy LED to make it flash, um, but it does just, it sounds horrible. Now... I can't work out how to get the speaker out of here. I think it's glued. And 
I don't think I'm going to be able to solder to this, so I'm probably going to have to find something else, but I will have a look. Okay, so the uh, box is on the print now. It will take about three hours, not a huge amount more. Um, but it should be less than that. So, uh, show you here. So this is my design. So the red bit is the actual box, and then the orange is the lid. Um, and it's got this shelf to go in the middle, and it screws in the bottom. And that will hold um, like the relay and the soundboard in there. So if you look, those four holes in there are the same as the four holes here, the small internal ones. Then the others are the dimensions for the relay and the soundboard, and it will just hold them. So I don't have to have as many holes in the bottom of here. And then I've got these holes here for ports. Yeah, so this big hole is for that uh, big DIN connector, which will go to the uh, motion sensor. That one's for a power switch. There's power in. And that's audio out. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get some audio jacks. So I've left it small. So that if I need to, I can just push a cable through and have it permanently in. Um, but if I decide to put a jack in there, I can always put a drill on and expand it out. It's only plastic. The walls are only 2 mil thick as well. But I've designed like this lip on the lid of the box. You can sort of see that there. So that will sit inside. I can run like a bead of glue or something. So I've got... Uh, these PCB standoffs, which I'll use to hold that green board in place, and uh, yeah, uh, once it's all printed, I will update you. Okay, so we ran into a slight issue. Um, I thought this had the option to run on 5 volts, and it would work if you put it on 5 volts, but it turns out it doesn't. So I'm going to have to run the system on 12 volt anyway, which means I'm going to have to do some voltage regulation. So I've ordered a special board off Amazon, that should get here at some point today. So I was going to start assembling the full box um, today, but I can't until this voltage regulator comes. So instead I'm going to use some of this cable and I'm going to solder the wire that goes between these, this plug and this. Um, I might clean this up a bit first because it is quite dirty and not very nice. So uh, I will do that now.
Okay, excuse the mess, but I've got a quick mock-up set up. So um, I've just got it connected outside the board. Motion sensor is there, and it just plugs into this little Bluetooth speaker. So at the moment, whenever you move in front of it, it plays the sound. <laughs> now, this is a very short file, so it does just sort of repeat over and over again whenever there's motion. Sometimes the sensor trips out and it plays for a bit longer, but once there's a longer file in there, it should work a bit better. So I'm just going to put it all inside the box now. Okay, time for final assembly. So I think we're finished now. Um, I just need to put this in, screw it in, and wire it up. Now, I have to print a new box. This is the old one here. Take these screws out because all the ports broke. Um, I had to make one bigger and it cracked. These walls are really thin. They were only two mil thick. So I've actually edited this one so now they're a little bit thicker. So this box should be a bit stronger. So I've got all the components in here. So you've got like a power jack, power switch, and then the connector for the motion sensor. And this cable just goes to a headphone plug. Put these connectors on the end so that it can just all plug straight into here so that way the low voltage board the whole thing can be removed quite easily um, so i'm going to do i'm going to install this now so um to do that i'm going to plug in power first so all you need to do i hope you can see this so I've plugged in the power, which is those two. And the audio is, I believe, not audio, sorry. Um, signal, to the signal to trigger it is those two. And I believe they go there. And then audio doesn't really matter which way around they go. But it's going to be those two. So now all I should have to do is push this box in here. I might need to tuck the cables under there. So there we go. So everything in. Now if I turn it up, it's got these holes in the bottom. So now I'm just going to screw it in. I might fast forward this bit because it's going to be quite fiddly. I can imagine. going to do a quick test to make sure that it works and I've got the pins in the right order just before I screw it in so I'm going to have to plug in power hold on here's power Let's bring the motion sensor cable in now let's plug this into this speaker I have here turn it on sensor so that it actually turns off. The first time it takes a while. It takes time for the sensor to boot, so um, it seems to sometimes not like it. 
Okay, so just quick overview. So I've got this power brick thing, so I'm just going to plug that in. Hold on. Okay, so all you really got to do, so you've got your box, going to have a speaker somewhere. Just plug that in and turn that on. He says. There you go, it's on now. Um, motion sensor. So it comes at the end of this cable, so I'm just going to sort of put that over there. And then with this plug goes in there. And then it's just a matter of plugging the power. I don't really want to see my foot there. Right. So that's it all set up. So now what, so if you, yeah, so what this is going to be, it's for a display at my dad's work. So this will be hidden behind the cabinet somewhere. And then that will probably be in the same place out of the way. And then this cable will go up to the display um, where this will be slightly visible um, so that it can detect motion. And then whenever somebody walks in front of the display, it's going to read out a paragraph um, for some information on a specific person. Um, and that way... So yeah, it should just... Because um, the board I've used, it has a random feature. So I can have multiple paragraphs and it will read each paragraph. And it will choose one whenever somebody walks past. So if I turn it on... He says... It should. So we haven't got any activity lights or anything, can it? There we go. Just one. So yeah, it will play. This is only a short MP3 file that it's playing. Um, so it repeats a lot. But with a longer paragraph, you wouldn't get this repeating. Um, it plays quite a lot at the beginning while the sensor boots up as well. So in a second it should stop, but um, it might take a while. I don't really know why. But eventually... Come on. I know that probably did nothing, but oh well. Come on. There we go. Right, it's just stopped. So it's finished doing what it's doing. And now whenever you walk in front, it makes the noise. So yeah, that's all it is. Just this little box. Three cables.